Hello and welcome to another Face Up episode. Today I am finally painting Impeldoll Imara in brown skin. As soon as I saw her, I knew what kind of style I want for her. As always, I prepare the head by spraying MSC UV Cut Flat three times to protect the resin. Then I start with a basic blushing in a darker shade of brown to define her beautiful face sculpt. I still can't get over how beautiful she is, even without a face up. Like always, I just use a makeup brush and nail art brushes to apply the soft pastel chart. If you are a beginner or artist on a budget, I guarantee you that cheaper materials can make beautiful face-ups too. I think you can already guess what kind of style I'm aiming for. My plan is to layer the white pastel chalk on her nose and around her eyes until I'm satisfied with the opacity. After sealing the head, the white had completely vanished. I thought I could just layer it like other colors, but yeah. Okay, maybe I should keep going and try another layer. And again, after spraying MSC, the white chalk had vanished completely. Unfortunately, I don't have an airbrush, so I just go straight into it with white acrylic paint in hopes it won't look too tacky. Wish me luck. I struggle a lot getting a straight line. Next time, I should use some washi tape as a guide. I don't know how I feel about the white acrylic paint, to be honest. I wanted the white to look smooth and blended. I'm really not the biggest fan of it, but hey, I always say trust the process and keep going. The stripe on her nose looks so thick and wonky, so I erase my mistakes with a wet magic sponge. The pink pastel on her white eyeshadow is just an experiment to add some more color because it looks so boring. Hopefully it will look good in the end. I am now adding the thick black eyeliner. I'm so scared to mess it up. If I mess it up, I have to wipe everything and start over again. Please, I don't want that. I successfully managed to do the eyeliner without any incidents. And I finally can start with the most difficult but also my favorite part, the lashes. I am using my new brush, but it turns out it isn't as thin as I thought. Drawing thin lines was a big struggle, so I'm switching back to my old long nail art brush. I'm not really satisfied with how the lashes turned out, but I also don't want to start over again. Her eyebrows are easy to make this time because they are short and all pink. I just had to go over with the pink multiple times because it wasn't very opaque. So keep in mind, thinner makes acrylic paint more translucent. Okay, I try the white pastel chalk again, but I have low expectations that it will stay after sealing the head. And it didn't. Okay, never mind, forget it. 
Oh my god, it's finally time to gloss her. This step makes me so excited because only a few steps are left until she's finished. And of course, she's also getting piercings like all of my other dolls. <laughs> I always use nail art supplies for my doll piercings, so I usually buy them at Daiso or AliExpress, and I use water-based glue to stick them to the resin. Golden piercings look really awesome together with her tanned skin in my opinion and I'm also adding some tiny gems and glitter under her eyes which is typical for kanguro style. I recorded the way how I add lashes to dolls with a vertical screen because I want to post this as a reel on my Instagram. So here's the reel. Now I can finally put her together and I'm so excited to show her. I'm very sorry for the shaky camera, I don't know what has happened there. And also please ignore the resin color of the body, she does not have her own body yet, so she has to borrow my other girl's body. But I'm so excited to see her coming all together. I am all over the moon with her, can I say it like that? 
sorry my English suddenly has disappeared because I'm so amazed by her. I think Imbledol Imara is really my favorite sculpt and I highly highly recommend getting her because she looks so realistic and so beautiful and the resin quality is absolutely high end. Please follow Impeldoll on all their social medias which I will link down below in the description box and please let me know if you consider getting an Impeldoll Imara and what style you want for her. And in today's video I am featuring Dolly Circus 19. If you also want to be featured in one of my videos please tag your doll photo on Instagram with hashtag Thank you so much for watching. See you next week. Kamsamnita. Annyeong.